For new parents figuring out how to save for their child's education, it can be overwhelming. But as Local 5's Katie M. Ryan explains, a new proposed state program could help push parents in the right direction. It's not about 25 bucks. It's about what happens within the family unit when mom and dad save for the future of their kids. A new program called WISKIDS would give all children born or adopted in the state a savings account of $25 for their education endeavors. This program is similar to EdVest, but does have some key differences. EdVest and WISKIDS are both used for higher education expenses, are run through the Department of Financial Institutions, and the money can be accessed at age 18. However, with EdVest, you can take out the money early for a tax penalty. With WIS kids, that money stays put until a certain threshold is met. What the bill does is it really invests one big account and every child has it's it, it you know kind of a tagged amount to that name. It's not six hundred thousand individual little accounts. It's one big account that is itemized to all of those children. The program also wouldn't cost Wisconsin taxpayers a dime as the money comes from fees accrued from the EdVest program. There's no public tax dollars that go into it at all. It's individuals like me and you who are putting money aside for our kids and our grandkids. The goal of the program is to motivate parents to start saving for their children's futures as soon as possible, a mission that has bipartisan support. I'm a new dad. It was really hard to sit down and, you know, all of the distractions when my son was born and came home. Um, but once we started saving, uh, once the dollars start going you know, from your paycheck into that savings account, it becomes much, much easier to save. WizKids is one of those best ideas. And so I hope that the rest of my colleagues look at it that way and that they can look past this election or even the next election or even their term and say, yes, let's plant some trees that we will never sit under. But 18 years from now, we'll be glad to say we took we took that step. The program is currently awaiting a public hearing in the state Senate. For Local 5 News, I'm Katie Amrine. And if the program passes, it's expected to go into effect in 2025.